Hello everyone, this is Adam Shoemaker, Rector at St. Stephen's Episcopal Church in Charleston. I hope you're well, hope you've had a good weekend. I'm here to pray with you today using Psalm number 81. Psalm number 81, which begins on page 704 in the Book of Common Prayer. Sing with joy to God our strength and raise a loud shout to the God of Jacob. Raise a song and sound the timbrel, the merry harp and the lyre. Blow the ram's horn at the new moon and at the full moon, the day of our feast. For this is a statute for Israel, a law of the God of Jacob. He laid it as a solemn charge upon Joseph when he came out of the land of Egypt. I heard an unfamiliar voice saying, I eased his shoulder from the burden. His hands were set free from bearing the load. You called on me in trouble and I saved you. I answered you from the secret place of thunder and tested you at the waters of Meribah. Hear, O my people, and I will admonish you. O Israel, if you would but listen to me, there shall be no strange God among you. You shall not worship a foreign God. I am the Lord your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt and said, Open your mouth wide, and I will fill it. And yet my people did not hear my voice, and Israel would not obey me. So I gave them over to the stubbornness of their hearts, to follow their own devices. Oh, that my people would listen to me, that Israel would walk in my ways. I should soon subdue their enemies and turn my hand against their foes. Those who hate the Lord would cringe before him, and their punishment would last forever. But Israel would I feed with the finest wheat and satisfy him with honey from the rock. Psalm number 81. I'm struck by the 12th verse of this psalm when we hear that God gave Israel over to the stubbornness of Israel's heart to follow Israel's own devices. God desires to be in relationship with us. The Bible shows us this again and again. And again and again, because we are human, we often fall short. We often rebel and rely only on our own devices. This is how we often separate ourselves from God. You know, feeling like we are almost like God ourselves, that we don't need help from anyone. Uh, we can go it alone. And this, the Bible warns us, is folly. This pridefulness uh, is uh, what precedes the fall. And so as we prepare to enter into the season of Advent, a season of preparation, a season in which we, in a sense, invite God to be born in us again, um, I would encourage you, friends, to find ways to ground yourself in prayer, to take time to ground yourself in God, to take a deep breath and listen for that still, small voice of God as the psalmist describes it, so that you can be reminded that there is only one God, which should be freeing, that we don't have to rely on our own devices, that God and God's love uh, ultimately um, is in charge of this world, even in this chaotic time when it can sometimes feel otherwise. 
I encourage you to use the season of Advent to ground yourselves uh, in that hope, uh, which I believe can help to sustain us all uh, during these trying times and always. Uh, we will be back uh, tomorrow to pray with you using the words of Psalm number 82. In the meantime, be safe, be well, continue to wear your mask, and you keep the faith.